Hi guys, this is Alex. So in this video, I'm going to show you the Xinjiang that you may have never seen in videos created by anti-China Western medias. All right. So first of all, I have to clarify that the footage and photos that I'm going to share with you in this video were taken by me in 2017. So, you know, things may have changed over the years. That is why I decided to go back to Xinjiang in the following months in order to show you what exactly is going on in Xinjiang recently. So, alright, if you are sitting comfortably, let's get into it. Our first stop is Ili. Official full name is Ili Kazakh Autonomous Prefecture. Uh, it can be found at northwest of Xinjiang, bounded by Kazakhstan, as you can see on the map. Uh, in my opinion, it is one of the most beautiful places in China. Don't believe that? Check this out. This is Saram Lake. It is famous for its crystal blue water and the diverse scenery of lake, snow mountain, grassland, and forest. Isn't it stunning, guys? Enjoy the whales. City is the capital city of Yili. It has the most representative multicultural community in Xinjiang, where you're gonna come across different styles of houses and people from different ethnic groups, such as Uyghur, Kazakh, and Hui Muslim. This family is Hui Muslims, by the way, and they were living in a lovely house. Now, let me take you to the heaven on earth, Kalajuin Prairies. It is the home of Kazakh nomads. Nobody can limit their freedom. Why? Because they are the people on horseback. After we left Ili, we drove through Dushanzi Kucha Highway, which you can see the red line on the map, to go to southern Xinjiang. But finally, we reached Kucha. The red part on the map. It's another different world. Mm, most of the residents there were Uyghurs and they were running different businesses such as grocery stores ice cream stores and of course naan stores Kucha is famous for its naan you know why? because their naan is huge I tend to say that people there were living in a simple and normal life. 
because I didn't notice any abnormal things. Anyway, it's the end of our journey. All right, that's basically what I like to share with you today. So before we end this video. Uh, I just want to say that my hometown Xinjiang shouldn't be famous for re-education camp, um, genocide, Uyghur rape. Instead, as just like just like what I showed you, it has so many breathtaking views and uh, so much cultural diversity, and it's a shame that. Her beauty has been covered by fake news, lies, rumors, and that is why I decided to create this channel. So in next video, I'm going to invite one of my Uyghur or Kazakh friend to my channel and let them talk about their experience in Xinjiang and let them speak out for Xinjiang. So stay tuned, guys. Bye bye.